Hi friends, welcome back to Math Simplified. In this video, we are going to learn about finding sum of terms of an AP. You know how to find the nth term of an AP. 25th term of an AP, 100th term of an AP. But do you know how to find the sum of 100 terms of an AP or 1000 terms of an AP? You have a formula. So this is the formula. Sn is how we denote the sum of n terms and that is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And this 2a can be written as a plus a and what is a plus n minus 1 into d? That is nth term, a n or you can denote it as small letter l which means the last term. So there are two formulas, you can choose any formula. So let's see an example. 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. How do you find the sum of first two terms of this AP? So that is written as S2 equal to. You have the two terms 1 and 3. And what is 1 plus 3? That is 4. So you will add the two terms. You will get the sum of first two terms. What about sum of first three terms? You will add the first three terms. That is 1 plus 3 plus 5. And that is equal to 9. Now let's find out the sum of first 30 terms. So it can be written as S30 equal to the formula N by 2. That is written as 30 by 2 into 2 into A. A is 1. So 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 that is 30 minus 1 into d. What is the common difference? The difference between the term and its previous term. 3 minus 1 that is 2. So this is equal to 30 by 2 is 15 into 2 into 1 2 plus 30 minus 1 is 29 into 2. So this is equal to 15 into 2 plus 29 into 2 will be 58. Well, to 15 into 60. Now, what is 15 into 60? 15 into 6 will be 90 so 900 is the sum of first 30 terms of this given AP. So now let's see some more examples. Find the sum of first 10 multiples of 5. We'll take the numbers as 5 then 10 15 etc. So here you will take the first term what is a equal to? a is equal to 5. Now, what is the common difference? d. d is equal to the difference between the term and its previous term. So, here 10 minus 5. It is 5. Now, you will find the sum of first 10 multiples of 5. That is s. 10 is equal to the formula is n by 2 into so what is n here 10 by 2 into 2 into a 2 into 5 plus n minus 1 10 minus 1 into d So, what is 10 by 2? It is 5 into 
2 into 5 is 10 plus 9 into 5 it is 45 now this is equal to 5 into 55 so this will give you 275 so you can write S10 is equal to 275 that is the sum of first 10 multiples of 5 is 275 moving on to the next example how many terms of the AP 18, 16, 14 etc be taken so that their sum is 0 so here the sum is given as 0 and you need to find the number of terms that is you need to find the value of n so here s n is given as 0 now what is a a is equal to 18 what is b d is the difference between the term and its previous term 16 minus 18 so d is equal to negative 2 now here sn is given as 0 we will write down the formula of sn and that is given as n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this is equal to 0 now what is n we need to find it so you will write it as n by 2 itself now 2 into a that is 2 into 18 will give you 36 plus n minus 1 into negative 2 is equal to 0. n by 2 you will write it as such into 36 plus we are going to open the bracket n into negative 2 is negative 2 when minus 1 into negative 2 is positive 2. So 36 minus 2 when plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, what is 36 plus 2? It is 38. So, n by 2 into 38 minus 2n is equal to 0. Now, I am going to take 2 to the other side. So, it becomes n into 38 minus 2n equal to 0. Now I am going to open the bracket 38n minus 2n square is equal to 0. Let's transpose it. 38n is equal to 2n square. So here n is equal to 38 divided by 2 will give you 19. So when you take 19 terms of this AP, the sum will be 0. Let's move on to the next example. Find the sum of first 17 terms of AP whose 4th and 9th terms are negative 15 and negative 30 respectively. So here the first step is that you will have to mention let A be the first term and B be the common difference. Here fourth term is given as negative 15 so you will write a4 is equal to negative 15 and what is a n a plus n minus 1 into d then what is a4 a plus 4 minus 1 into d and that will give you a plus 3d a plus 3d that is equal to negative 15. Now the next term is ninth term. 
So A9 is given as negative 30. So in the same way, A9 can be written as A plus 9 minus 1 into D. And that is A plus 8D equal to negative 30. Now what you need to do is you have two equations here. You can subtract them. So when you subtract a minus a 0, 3d minus 8d will give you negative 5d equal to negative 15 minus negative 30. It gives you negative 15 plus 30 that is equal to 15. Now what is d then? d is equal to 15 divided by negative 5 that is equal to negative 3. Now you can substitute the value of d in any of the equation to get the value of a. Now I am going to substitute in the first equation. So it becomes a plus 3 into negative 3 is equal to negative 15 a plus 3 into negative 3 that is minus 9 is equal to negative 15. Now what is a equal to negative 15 plus 9 so that is equal to negative 6. So a is negative 6 and d is negative 3 now you can find the sum of first 17 terms of this AP. Let's find it out. So here S17 is equal to N by 2. That is 17 by 2 into 2 into negative 6 plus N minus 1. That is 17 minus 1 D negative 3 now 17 by 2 into 2 into negative 6 it is negative 12 plus 16 into negative 3 that is equal to 17 by 2 into negative 12 16 into negative 3 is negative 48 now, this is equal to 17 by 2 into negative 12 minus 48 will give you negative 60. And that is equal to 17 into, I cancelled 2 and negative 60 and I wrote it as negative 30 on top. Okay, so what is 17 into negative 30? It will give you negative 510. So S17 is equal to negative 510. So this is how we find the sum of first 17 terms of the AP if some terms are given. So here fourth term and ninth terms were given. We made equations and then we solved them and then found the value of A and D and then we applied the SN formula. Let's move on to the last question. The sum of first N terms of an AP is given by SN equal to 3N square minus 4N. Determine the AP and the 12th term. So, Sn is equal to 3n square minus 4n. So from that you need to determine the AP. How will you do it? You can find S1. Is it not? So instead of n you can write 1. So let's find out. So Sn is given by 3n square minus 4n. So S1 
1 is equal to 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1. That is equal to 3 minus 4. That is equal to negative 1. Now, what is S2 then? S2 is 3 into 2 square minus 4 into 2. That is 3 into 4 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. So, can you guess the first term of the AP? The first term will be S1. So, A, which is the first term. So, you will write it as A1 is equal to negative 1. But what about A2? Is A2 and S2 the same? No. To find A2, we need to subtract S2 minus S1. So, it becomes 4 minus negative 1. That is equal to 5. So, now you got A1 and A2. That is the first two terms of the AP. Now, can you find the common difference? So, what is D? D is equal to A2 minus A1. So, what is A2 here? 5 minus negative 1. And that is equal to 6. Now, you got the first term and the common difference. Now, you can determine the AP. So, can you tell me the AP? AP, the first term is negative 1, comma. What will be the second term? What is the common difference? 6. So, negative 1 plus 6, you got it as 5. What is the next term? 5 plus 6, and that is 11. Next term, 11 plus 6, and that is 17, and etc. Now, you need to find the 12th term. Let's find it out. So, A12, that is equal to A plus 12 minus 1 into B. So, here A is negative 1 plus 11 into B is 6. So, this is equal to negative 1 plus 11 into 6 is 66. So, your answer is 65. So, the 12th term is 65. So, friends, in this video, we learned how to find the sum of terms of an AP. We saw two formulas and we solved many examples based on the same. So, in my next video, I'll be coming up with some hot questions based on this chapter. So, stay tuned. Till then, bye and thanks for watching.